Hey everyone, this is Mayu and welcome to Tutorial Thursday. Today I'm going to show you how to draw and color a cute stylish purse step by step. This is part of my Fun and Draw Easy playlist. For other detailed drawings, you can see this playlist and this one. I hope my different art can help you expand your drawing skills in different ways. Okay, to start, I'm going to draw a line going across. So I'll dot the spot right around here. You can see where I'll begin. Let's go across like that. So this is for the top part of the purse. Make this a little bit longer. There we go. And then now I'm going on this point here. I want to go down a little bit like this. So I'll dot the spot. Just go down. This line is not going to be straight. It'll have a little curve to it because I want the purse to have a soft look. Okay, once we have this, I'll curve a little bit more for a round corner. And then I want to go across to the other corner. Like that. I'll curve up just a little bit for a round corner. And you'll notice that this line is longer than the top part, which is what we want for the shape of the purse. Okay, now we just need to connect this with that. I like to go down here and just connect that. Okay, so we have the basic shape of the purse. Let's go into the details. So from here, the top part, let's go down a little bit and watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to dot the spot right around here and leave a little distance, go down and dot another one. I'm going to turn these two dots into a little heart. Isn't that sweet? So just draw these two little curves to connect the dots and that's an easy way to draw a cute heart. Once we have this, I want to draw another line coming down towards the heart. So the heart's kind of like the middle piece or like the little uh, latch in the middle of the purse. So when you flip the uh, flap of the purse down, this kind of just holds it in place like the magnet part. Okay, so once we have the heart, let's just draw another curve going down like that. And I'll draw another one going back up. There we go. Okay, so once we have these two lines, for the flap or the top part of the purse. I want to make this area a little bit more fancy looking by drawing a cute little design. So I'm going to start with a curve and let's repeat that curve like this. So we have this wavy line. It's going to the other side. Okay, so we have a nice pretty design on top and now let's draw a cute little mouth down below. Let's make this purse smiling just by drawing a little wide letter U. And for those big fun and dries coming up, let's draw a curve beside the mouth. I'll draw another curve on this side. Okay, so these are like the cheek lines. And on top of each one, let's go up. So this one here, let's go up. I'll dot the spot right around here for the height of the Fenadryl eye. And now let's draw another curve going down towards the cheek line. Once you have this curve, I'll draw another one the other way. So just like that. So we have the chubby triangle shape for the fun and draw eye. Let's draw one more like this for the side. And let's shade this in. I'll make that a little bit thicker. Okay, so like that. Okay, so we have this shape. Let's go into this side now. So go up 
dot this spot. From this dot, go down and down. Okay. Keep going, fun and dryers. Okay, so we have the rounded triangle. Now let's go into the side, just like that. And then just like before, just shade it in. I'm glad many of you told me that you've purchased my Fun and Draw apps and ebooks and that they're helping you. Keep up the good work, everyone, because these Fun and Draw apps and ebooks do take a lot of work to put together. So I'm glad you guys are making very good use of them. Keep up the great art. All right, so we have the empty spaces. So let's move into the details in each Fun and Eye. So let's begin with this one. So I have the shape of the eye. Inside, I want to draw a pupil. Let's make it looking up. So I have a curve like that, followed by another curve for the highlight. Under the highlight, to start shading the eye, let's draw a diagonal line. Okay, and then this area will be all nice and dark. Okay, so just shade that in. And to complete the shading, I just want to draw three more lines underneath. So here's one line. The second line is shorter. And the third line is the shortest. Okay. So there we go, we've shaded the fun and draw eye. And I think for this cute little purse, let's give her a nice pretty eyelash right down there. Okay, so we have the one eye. Let's go into the other one. So the pupil and the highlight. Shading, let's just draw the diagonal line again and then fill it in. I made the highlight a little bit smaller. And now for those three lines, here's one, here's two, here's the third one. And I'll make this a little bit going down. There we go. Let's draw the eyelash. And for an extra happy expression, let's give her some cheerful eyebrows. So I'll just draw two simple curves above the eyes. Okay, excellent. So we have the basic face done of the purse. And now for the strap. Let's go up here on this corner. I'll draw a short line so you can see where I'll begin. From this line, I want to go up, curve around, and then go right back down towards this part of the purse. Go up as a big curve. Keep going. Okay, now I'm going to curve around now and go down towards this corner. Like that. Okay, so we have the basic line for the strap, but it kind of looks like a piece of string. So to make the strap look thicker, Let's just draw the same thing, but just a little bit smaller inside. So start maybe right around here, like that. And then just follow the line you drew before. Okay, so keep going. Go around, curve around, and then go down. Okay, I want to do something on this side to make the purse look like she has a side. So from this point here, near the corner, I just want to draw another curve going down and then coming down towards this corner here. So we'll go out a little bit for the thickness. And then I'll start to curve now, like that. 
and keep going until you reach this round corner of the purse. Aw, she looks adorable. Okay, so we are done drawing her, and next I'm going to show you how to color her step by step. Alright, let's color this cutie step by step. For this tutorial, just like my previous Tutorial Thursday video, I'm going to use my Crayola markers, like this. Because I think most of you will have these kind of markers or similar ones at home, so just use the ones that you already have. And some of you were asking me if I use other kinds of markers to color my art. If you followed my recent Fun & Draw videos in the past, you will see that I use all kinds of different markers for my art. And continue to follow me and watch my videos so you can see me use all kinds of different markers to draw and color. Okay, so first let's start with our Crayola marker. So I have this red here. I'm going to choose red for this area in the purse. First, I'm not going to color in everything. I want to outline the area by going along the lines. So I have the wavy line here, and then I'll just go across the top. And this is because I think by doing this, it helps me keep all the colors within this area. But if you have something that's spilling out a little bit across the lines, please don't worry about that. We're all having fun doing our art. That's the most important thing. Okay, so now I'm going to color it in like this. I'm just staying within the red line I drew. Okay. All right, that looks very bright. Next, I want to use my yellow for this area. So I have my nice bright yellow. So again, just outline everything and then fill it. Outline this part. And then fill it. Okay, and for the little heart, I think I'll use a nice purple. Let's go into the heart here and fill it in. Okay. For the face of the purse, I'm going to choose another bright color. So I have my pink. And I'll outline everything around this big area. So keep going around the top part. Okay, now we're going down the side around the corner. Okay, let's go across the bottom part of the purse. And I do want to get around the eye too, because I don't want the pink to go into the eye. But it's not the end of the world if it does. Okay, so we have the eye and this side here. Okay, excellent. All right, once everything's kind of outlined, then go ahead and fill it in. Just like that. That's a nice, pretty pink. And in case if any of you want to learn how to shade your drawings as well, you can check out my different Fun & Draw apps level 2 and level 3 because those apps will show you how to shade your drawings and characters to make them look more dimensional. Okay, so we have almost one half of the face all done. And here's a tip, if you want to cover more of an area quickly, slant your pen so more of the tip is touching the paper. So instead of going like this to color, you can go like this, so you can get more color out of the pen in each stroke. Okay, 
let's just go over the mouth here and then on to the other side of the face. Okay, across the eyebrow. And now let's get in that corner. Excellent. Keep going, fun and drawers. Okay, around this eye now. Very cute. So we have the major part of the purse all colored. Now for the side, I want a darker color to bring out the bright face. So I'm going back to my purple and I'll use that to color the side. Look how nice that is. The dark purple against the bright pink. I like that contrast. Let's go down here to outline it. Okay, and now fill it in. All right. Now we have the side. Let's go into the strap and I'll use my dark purple again because I think that's a nice color for the strap. So go up here. Let's outline this. Okay, just keep going. I'll turn my body here so I can get this area. Go down. Okay, cool. Now I'll fill in the rest. She looks very cute. One more thing we got to color, and that is those cute little eyes. So I'm going to take my light blue and I'm going to color in the pupils with this nice turquoise color. That's a nice blue. Okay, I think she looks adorable. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing and also telling your friends about Fun and Draw to support art and my Fun and Draw channel. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you every week on Tutorial Thursday and Fun Friday. There you go. Many of you have been asking me to draw myself. I think I'll be Fun to Draw. I'll do that on a Fun Friday in the near future. Check back often to see. Learn how to draw and color more beautiful cartoons with my Fun to Draw ebooks and my Fun to Draw apps. They make great gifts for birthdays and holidays. Links are in the video description.